We're going to face the east. Alright. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekahagwadash. Double honors to the Hells Apostle GMS, who do well. Salute to brothers pushing his word. And truth to say, the strength of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Right? We are in the prophet of the Hells of all. America, Babylon the Great, the Bible. Uh, and I'm here to get the elect. How do the Negro like to know the Native American? And those are the true biblical people, Israelites, according to the Bible. And those are the only ones that don't repent and come back to Yahweh Shino Shai and worship them in truth and sincerity. Right? And uh, we're going to start off. I got something, so we're going to start off with here. With this. It's already going, but I'm going to just let it come on in. The people in Iran who need to attack Iran. What retaliation will ever, will, will Iran's enemies expect from any attack on Iran? The cultured Iranian nation has never throughout history been after conflict, war, or threatening others. And it will not be. Basically, the era of using the language of threat in national and international relations is over. I believe that all nations strictly oppose such an approach and slam it. How uh, sure are you that uh, you are safe in Tehran if... Uh, Iran's enemies can assassinate scientists and uh, generals. This is the type of incident that may occur anywhere in the world. If the pressure continues from NATO countries, do you think that uh, Iran is getting closer economically, culturally, politically, its relations with uh, Moscow and with Beijing, are they, are they getting closer? The Iranian nation has always sought friendly and constructive relations based on justice and respect with all nations. And that includes the nations of Russia and China. But the governments of these two countries have so far not been able to stop the enforcement of sanctions. You mean that Russia and China have uh, failed to stop sanctions on Iran. Yes, that's what I said. I mean, Russia is saying Iran is now uh, enriching uranium to uh, rates that are much higher than the JCPOA would allow. Well, that's already in the papers. I mean, I'll get to coronavirus in, in a moment, but uh, the U.S. aircraft carrier Nimitz has been sent to Iran's maritime borders. You have the boss of Trump's Pentagon making accusations against Iran. How would Iran cope with U.S. bombing in the last days of a Trump presidency? As I have noted over and over previously, the United States' major policies including the key issue of war, are what the behind-the-scenes governing board decides and enforces. And the presidents don't play a determining role in them. In fact, from all the developments unfolding and the news being broadcast, it's my understanding that a new war is about to be imposed on the sensitive region of the Middle East. Therefore, I wrote a letter to the leaders in the region and asked them to avoid the consequences of such a war. I called on them to try and prevent it from happening and warned them about the damage and toll of such a war for all regional states. You know that when Joe Biden was vice president, President Obama bombed, some say, destroyed Africa's richest capital, country Libya. How will Biden make any difference to Iran-U.S. relations? He's, of course, a very good friend of 
Israel? I addressed that question earlier on. From our standpoint, it makes no difference who is president in the U.S. Since major U.S. policies are devised by the governing board behind the scenes. Look at the past 70 years. Many crimes against humanity have been committed. And a lot of wars and impositions have been waged by consecutive U.S. administrations. And regardless of the party in office, they carried out that mission. During either of the parties' time in power, similar events have been repeated. Therefore, I don't expect that not to reoccur in the future. And so it makes no difference who is president. That's what I wanted to get out. You know what I'm saying? That's uh, Atma Dinajad, the former uh, president of uh, Iran. And we're going to start off in uh, 2 Peter's the third chapter. So even they know that it doesn't matter who's in office as a president, the policies that's, uh, that the elites got set up for the American government is going to go forward. And the elites want a hey, what? New world order to where everybody is chill and war. That's what they want because that's how they make a lot of money, war. But within this war, America gonna fall, man. So, you know, even though Biden is in there, you brothers and sisters out there, don't lose hope. I don't care how hard uh, Jennifer Lopez sings at the inauguration. I don't care how hard she sings. I don't care how hard uh, John Lennon played the piano. I don't care. And the Heavenly Father and His Son don't care because they gonna fulfill prophecy according to the scriptures, man. So don't lose hope, man. And Atma Dinajad said within that interview that he sent letters, okay, to all the neighboring countries and he said it's a new war coming. So, hey man, you know, you got some people that try to talk people a lot of it, but it's all the most hot program no matter what people think on uh matter of fact, what I want is uh Isaiah 55 and 8. We're gonna start that and then get you know what I'm saying, people. Isaiah 55 and 8. So it don't matter who the office of what the people on the earth think. It's your how about Shmao Shah's playing, right? So we're going to start off there first, then we're going to jump. Go ahead. All right. All right. This is Isaiah chapter 58. 55. Oh, verse like, eight. Like 55, verse 8. What did you say? Thought at 6. Woo! Thought at 6, bro. All right. This is, uh, this is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. 6. Seek ye Yahweh Shem Yahushad while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Go ahead. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Mm -hmm. And let him return unto Yahweh Shem Yahushad and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for we will abundantly pardon. Pardon. Right. God. So like I'll read I'll read it again. This is uh Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. Seek ye Yahweh by some of shot, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he's near. Verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto Yahweh by some Yahushai, and he will have mercy upon him and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. Verse 8 For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways, my, uh, neither are your ways my ways, said Yahweh by some Yahushai. Verse 9 
For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Uh, verse 10. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth, and bud, that it may give seed to the soul. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 6 Seek ye Yahweh Shem Yahushai while he may be found. So you seek Yahweh Shem Yahushai while he may be found man because what Yahweh Shem Yahushai is doing is setting up everything for the process of taking down Esau's kingdom man. Okay? You still got the truth over there in uh, D.C. on standby man. Everything is playing its course according to prophecy, man. There will be a full-scale martial law in America, man. Okay? It will be full-scale martial law in America, man. In different phases of it. You got soft martial law, and then you got full-scale. Full-scale martial law is coming to America, man. It's coming, man. No matter what you people think. So the heavenly father is trying to put you to the prophecy. Y'all watching out child might make me found. Because right now, you got brothers on the street. And you got brothers on the web. Eventually that web gonna get cut, man. It's gonna become a family of the word, man, and it's gonna be beautiful, man. It's gonna be beautiful. Why? Because it's part of prophecy. Okay? Through the spirit and power y'all watching out with shy, that web have reached out to a lot of Israelites, man. But it's gonna come a point in time. To where the heavenly father and his son gonna cut it, man. Because it's part of prophecy, man. So that's why you seek Yahweh Bashim El Shah, why he may be found. Even though uh Trump is not in office, everything is still playing its part and running this course, man. Okay? And this guy bite, man, like I said a couple of weeks ago, man. You people not looking at the chicken egg that's coming down the rabbit hole, man. You're not looking at it. This dude, this dude, man, y'all, hey, man, the Most High got these devils set up, man, and the Most High is going to use these devils, okay, to bring war to you nigga Latinos and Native Americans, man. He going to use them. So this is a warning. Seek him while he may be found, man, because y'all by Chanel shot is going to cut this web, and you just going to be out there, man, okay, for the ones who've been uh, uh, lollygagging and thinking everything's a joke and enjoying yourself in this wicked society, man. The Most High is gonna bring this place down, man. So you brothers and sisters out there that see this video, don't lose hope and trust in Yahweh by Shemel Shaka. He gonna bring it, man. Everything is been set up, man. So seeking why it may be found. So go ahead, bro. So back in Isaiah chapter 55, verse six. Call ye upon him while he's near. Go ahead. Let the wicked forsake his way. Amongst you nigga Latinos and Native Americans. That ain't got nothing to do with you other nations. Okay? Because he only gonna pardon and have mercy upon Jacob, man. For their sins, man. Okay? That ain't got nothing to do with you other nations, man. Okay? Let's talk about the Negro Latinos and Native Americans that's wicked. Okay? You got Jeremiah 5 and 26. Okay? So you got Israelites that in the world is going to repent and come back to y'all watching our shot. Go ahead. And the unrighteous man, his thoughts, you know, I hope I said Jeremiah 5 and 26, not Isaiah. But it was Jeremiah, matter of fact, hold that and go over there to Jeremiah 5 and 26. So sometimes, man, I, I, I might quote scriptures and I think I said the right scripture, but I didn't say something else. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it be like that when you out here, man. You're like, hey, mate. You know what I'm saying? I meant to say this, hey. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. He said, uh, Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 26. Go ahead, yeah. All right, this is Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 26. For among my people are found wicked men. So that's what I wanted out of there. Just that particular. Is that, is that the particular verse? 5 and 26? Right. And that's all it says? No, that's a little bit more. Oh, go ahead and finish it off. It says, they lay wait 
as he that setteth snares, they set a trap, they catch men. So what I, the point is, is that I want, wanted that to come out to let you know that you got wicked people amongst the nation of Israel. So that's why I wanted that to be read, you know, Jeremiah 5 and 26. So go ahead, bro. And Isaiah uh, 55 and uh, what verses you at? 7. 7. Okay, go ahead. Okay. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto Yahweh by some Yahushai, and he will have mercy upon him. So how do you do that? You be renewed in your mind and apply these scriptures. Okay? You apply the words of the Bible, man, in your daily life, man. You be renewed in your mind and your spirit, man. Okay? And not that old Adam spirit. You want the second Adam spirit, which is Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? You want to walk in newness of the spirit, man. With Yahweh Shai, you want to apply the, uh, you want to apply these scriptures, man. Okay? The Heavenly Father and His Son is giving you time to apply these scriptures, man, in your life, man. That's why He says, seek Him while He may be found, man. Because He's going to come a point in time to where you're not going to be able to hear this word on the streets, man. Okay? On the internet or the streets, man. Go ahead, bro. And to our power, for He will abundantly pardon. Go ahead. For your sins, man. Go ahead. It's uh, verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. So even though Ahmadinejad wants uh, a war not to happen, the Heavenly Father's thoughts are totally different than how these people think on the earth. The Heavenly Father wants war. He's a man of war. And to fulfill his, his promise to the Negro Latinos and Native Americans, which are the descendants of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, war is going to have to take place, man. War is going to take place, man. And like I was showing in the clip with the former president of Iran, he said a new war is going to start, man. So they know that uh, Joe Biden, Joseph Biden, the president of the United States, now they know behind the scenes it's other people controlling the policies of America, okay? These heathens outside of America, man, they know that, man. They know the policies ain't gonna change. But we know, according to the scriptures, the, the prophecy is gonna be fulfilled according to the scriptures that the Most High is gonna steer these nations on the path to destruction, man, the war. So he can get his, so he can get his people out of his conditions. Go ahead. Neither or your ways, my ways. Go ahead. Said Yahweh by some Yahweh shot. Go ahead. It's not verse 9. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, mm -hmm. so are my ways higher than your ways. Go ahead. And my thoughts than your thoughts. Go ahead. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, mm -hmm. but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth a and bud mm -hmm. that it may that it may give seed to sow to the sower mm -hmm. and bread to the eater. Go ahead. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. It shall not return unto me void, mm -hmm. but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the things whereto I send it. See that? So everything on play is part according to prophecy, man, because it's the will of Yahweh Shema was shot. So, so it doesn't matter how people think on this earth. It matters how the Heavenly Father and Son think according to the scripture. Okay? And America's going to go to war with Iran, man. It don't matter who's in there, man. Okay? And the Mosai is going to make these Edomites cause full-scale martial law. Okay? And he's going to make these Edomites push the chip using the military on the masses of the people, man. It's gonna happen, man. Okay? There's some more on that. No, that was it on that particular verse. Alright, jump to uh, 2 Peter, the 3rd chapter. You see? Okay. So, we out here warning you and reminding you, man, just because Joe Biden in there, so what? Okay. You know what I'm saying? 
Joe Biden with the biometric system. He went it. I showed y'all a week ago that Trump was with it, okay? And Joe Biden is with it, okay? And I showed y'all weeks ago dealing with Joe Biden, okay, that you need to watch the chicken egg that's coming down the rabbit hole, okay? And rabbits don't like chicken eggs, okay? So you need to watch that devil. I'm suspicious about him, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come, come, come. And then you got Jennifer Lopez singing, and you got the people on the island of Puerto Rico, which is part of America, can't even vote. But it ain't no, it, you shouldn't vote. But they can't even vote on that island, man. They got to be a citizen, citizens of America, man. You don't believe man, hold on, let me, let me see. You don't believe it? <laughs> you don't believe it? You see? And they know that uh, they know uh, the Puerto Ricans are the head tribe of the Northern Kingdom, man. Can Puerto Rico vote in the American election? Let's see. Let's see, let's see here. Let's see if I can find it here. It says, uh, what it is is they gotta be, uh, it says, voting rights of United States citizens in Puerto Rico, like the voting rights of residents of other United States territories different from those of the United States citizens in the in each each of the 50 states and District of Columbia residents of Puerto Rico and other US territories do not have voting uh, representation in the United States Congress and are not entitled to electoral vote for president. See that? So you got Jennifer Lopez, which is an Ephemite, singing at the inauguration when her people on that island of Puerto Rico can't even vote, which we tell you not to vote because if you vote, that's going against the scriptures of Yahweh Shemel Shah. So, your king is supposed to be Yahweh Shemel Shah, not Joe Biden. He's not a leader of you, okay? But I just want that to come out. You see, you see what's going on, man. Even though Puerto Rico is American territory, they cannot participate in voting for president. See that? Something some fishy about that. Something <laughs> fishy, right? Because they don't like you Puerto Ricans in America, right. man. Right. Right. These Edomites in America do not like you, man. Right. Because they know that you are the true biblical Israelite of the tribe of Ephraim, man. Right. 